All right, so my friends, welcome. Still playing World Stacks, and this one's one that I like a lot. Uh, I freaking love Control Decks, and uh, Marco played this deck to uh, in Worlds to a pretty good finish, like 5-2-1, and one, and uh, definitely a super viable deck. I think uh, Carl Seurat played it also, and uh, in testing, um, I was the, 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 the evil Esper Control player for, like, for a lot. Me and Reed and me and Seth played a lot of games. <laughs> Uh, where I was playing control. Do love playing control decks, though. Kind of warms my soul. Uh, it is 61 cards. This is a world championship list, but... I don't know. What do y'all may say? But I think Quick Study's great. Uh, Arnie Ushenbeth had a pretty good list we liked a lot. We were, we were testing with. Um, they had four Quick Studies. Pretty cool. But, you know, this six of one half does the other kind of thing. And then I got that real sideboard here. Shouldered Shark and Denik for the aggro matchups. Love to see that, too. So, uh, a little... Uh, a little uh, the anti mill tech at 61 cards, I guess, right? So that's the deck. Let's get right into the games brought to you by. In the search for the ultimate weapon, knowledge is power. Introducing Draftsmith, your new secret weapon for Magic the Gathering Arena Limited mode. Draftsmith helps you pick the perfect card every time by providing an in depth rating for each card. These ratings adapt based on the cards you've already chosen making sure you always stay one step ahead of the competition. After the draft is done, Draftsmith recommends the optimal deck based on the cards you have chosen. No more, win more. Download Draftsmith today from untap.gg. Also, the way we track all of our games, uh, tracks all your games, all your stats, everything, free to download, check it out. Chat coming out with me. Got a rough one here, honestly. Uh, two lander on the play with control is very, very bad. Got to make all your land drops and then no card draw here either. If we had a quick study, I would keep this hand. But I think this is a hand you got a mulligan. I don't think you can afford to keep this hand uh, when you're playing control. Like on the draw, I think I would keep also. But I think keeping this hand on the play when you're playing control is a mistake. Might look fine, but you have to make multiple, multiple land drops or multiple, multiple turns for your deck to function. And you can't afford to fall behind on land. So we're going to mulligan. And much better hand. Uh, easy keep here. Keep this. We're going to ship uh, the island. And uh, now you got quick study, rule spell, counter spell. Much better. Much better to get the ball rolling. You ever have a deck you just feel at home with, you know? Like, just these control decks, just, I just... Draw seven, I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing. No problems here. Just know everything I'm supposed to do. All ready to go. Now, I'm gonna have a little, a little mirror here, maybe? What is this? Maybe, uh... Maybe a little virtue. Fairy Mastermind. Alright, we're gonna... Hmm... I'm going to study in response to this. Worst case scenario, they go land Rafine, right? I guess actually land wedding announcement with the worst case scenario. That's the one I don't have a clean answer to. I can kill Rafine, no problem. I'm going to show draw two here. It's fun. So there you go. Plenty of cut downs. Got a card draw spell. Love it. Yeah, so it's either Legends or mid range. We'll find out. All right, it's Legends. Okay, cool. So no land is great for us, though. We have to go cut down, cut down. Um, yes. Cut down, cut down, tap land. Control is all just sequencing, you know? Just planning out your, planning out your turns. Gonna kill this. And then probably kill this. When they attack. See if they have a fiend or not. Got that deluge lined up. There's the plaza. And there's the rafine. Um, yeah, we're still gonna cut down this. Mastermind is kind of annoying for us. Give me some, some card draw. So there's Rafine. Draw Odawara. Okay, go for the throat and Deluge. Let's just say go and probably Deluge. We have a couple sweepers in our deck, obviously, and they're probably not playing counter spells because they're playing the Legends version with the Thalias. So they can get their one Rafine shot. It's fine. They've already cast two cutdowns. So one of the fears is the first attack means no cutdown. They can discard a Danic. It's pretty good. Pretty good value. And buckle up here. Buckle up. Again, Joe. Alright. Nothing. Love it. Here's Deluge. They want to Urtai it. Go nuts. Quick study. Void Rend. Yeah. Just take the spells here. And this thing gives Hexproof Indestructible. This thing... Uh, it's not worth your extra roof, but it's fine. Play land. Just say go. Uh, let's see what happens. Upkeep. 
They want to sack their land to keep Rafine. I'm like pretty stoked about it. So I think we're going to just cast the Void Rend. Just the most mana efficient thing to do. Because we want to save the twos for later. So this is fine. Upkeep, Void Rend. Don't got to pay the wars. Can't be countered. Love it. And now he gets to either kill a thing or draw two, which is great. And when you're buying a control deck, it's all about just like, make every land drop, trade. Make every land drop, trade. Make every land drop, trade. You need to keep developing your own resources while uh, dealing with their stuff. Here's a Lord Skitter. Lord Skitter's pretty good. Um, that also eats daily, so we gotta, we gotta kill this. So set our stop, because there's no auto stop for Skitter, unfortunately. Kill Lord Skitter. Hitting our dealers is actually a huge game for them, so that day which is really, really important for us. You draw Wandering Emperor. I'm gonna draw two here. Draw two. Find a land. We did not find a land, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Um, we have Edict, Make Disappear. Obviously pretty awkward with only three mana up two, but so not ideal not draw a land there, but still worth a shot. Here's Shieldred. I'm just gonna cast Make Disappear, I think. Get to catch this bad boy in. Feels pretty good. So a healthy 16. No attack or dissipate. Yeah. So you go. At this point, we're in phenomenal shape. They have, you know, four, five ish cards. So do we. We have card draw, deluge, under no pressure. Here's a Rafine. And I kind of like just Edict and then kill the Rafine here, honestly. Stack non token creature. Could dissipate it too, but this is fine. Resolves. Ends that go for the throats. So a bunch of spells in their hand. Probably could, could have go for the throats in their hand. Just like rotting, obviously. Um, could have maybe a few other big legends. I don't know. They have spells, you know. Fairy Mastermind. Sure, that's fine. Annoying, honestly, but totally fine. Drive a land, perfect. So now you drive a land. There's a very slight chance they have counter spells in their deck. Uh, so I might just want to jam this Deluge and just guarantee that it resolves. It's very, very important for us to resolve it. Otherwise, we can kind of just chill. They can draw cards with the Mastermind. I need to find an answer to that, too. I'm going I'm to jam this. Could have an Urtai. If they were to Urtai, that's pretty, pretty bad also, so they would draw off the Mastermind. I'm just going to cast it right now. Let them have their turn. Whatever. We find Sunfall, Gas. Void Rand is Gas. Don't, don't, don't need to land here, so just say go. Another board skill with, with control decks, just like knowing when you can tap out and not tap out and be safe and stuff. So just think, you know, they both well, just like figure, figure out like, what can they do? What's the worst thing that can happen? What's the best thing that can happen? And then kind of just like, you know, going from there. So here's Denik, no problem. Fire up Sunfall. Get him to gate up if we want it. Get to say go, flip these things over. And yeah, at this point, I think there's almost no chance they can win. Deck's very good against Esper, Esper, Esper Legends, I think. And, and mid-range, too. Thalia again? Yeah, whatever. Um, and Shieldred, sure. So, four mana to Void Ren Shieldred. Don't want to flip this thing or not? I don't think so. So, we'll just untap, upkeep, Void Ren this. And draw land or not? So that's probably the one of the worst cards we've drawn. It's a second four mana counter spell. So we're a little soft here, honestly. We have these two emperors too, but land number seven for them. We do have the Plaza of Heroes, so a little game there. All right, so let's just flip this now. Siphon freaking insight. All right, so let's take up. I guess we can attack. I'm not blocking, so. Just say go. End step Emperor, make them use their thing. We can Emperor again, or whatever we want to do, honestly. We're not going to do it in uh, in the main phase, so we just get these counter spells up, which take two. So, play Emperor. If I Emperor, I can't Insight. But. We could go Insight, Flashback, Insight, I guess. But then most of their cards they have, they're actually kind of suck for us. Um, that being said, they only have a 1-2 one, one, in play. Yeah, let's do that. 
Insight, you finding lands is fine too, so more mana efficient. Sure. Yeah, so like this, this, at that point, the Legends deck doesn't really have a way to come back in a game like that, which is great. So we bring a cut down, bring an anoint. Um probably bring the shoulders actually. Bring the shoulders and the sunfall. We cut the negates, cut the dissipates, uh, cut the insight. I think farewell is still good against them, even though it's a little clunky. They might learn aboard some counter spells probably, but I think it's fine. I think the end's pretty bad. Um and then we should have, like, a bunch of spot removal spells. I don't love Make Disappear against them, but I shouldn't draw. I don't think I want the Sharks, though. Shark is, like, not bad against them, but... I think it's more important than my cards deal with their cards directly, so they can't snowball. Uh, Denix, also a little interesting, but I think it's fine. Yeah, pretty happy with this. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Forgot we're playing 61, sorry. Marco's a crazy person. Uh, in that case... I guess that I can be okay with it at the end. I don't love it, but it's like fine. Maybe we'll get a spot where we're like at a low life, life total. We can do the whole like cheapy thing. That'd be kind of cool. Love playing control decks. It's my jam. Oh shit, I drink football. T Higgins, you're to be playing today, bud. All right, he's playing today. Thank God. <laughs> All right, great. Football time! Uh, yeah, this is fun. A little clunky, but fun. Alright, so tap land, no one drops great for us. When they have, you know, Skrull, Thalia, Rafine it's on the play, it's pretty hard for any deck to win, but here's Thalia, no problem. What's up, D. Hauser? First time chatter. Everyone's hired D. Hauser. You should play your Stormos like 10 years ago. I haven't played Storm that much. The one that I played in the Invitational. That was my first time playing Storm. My first game was a turn one kill against Dylan Donegan. It took me like, took me like 11 minutes to do. It's just like, uh. <laughs> Alright, so um, definitely not a natural combo player for sure. Uh, I'm going to kill this now or wait. I'm just going to wait. I might go land Rafine, you know. Big fan, appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, cut down. Get out of here. Get off my plane. This game's already looking pretty good for us. A couple kill spells, counter spell on a wrath, Thalia again, sure, and a scroll. Okay. So make disappears kind of cool here. It's a way to obviously you trade with things without scroll mattering. Let's build up a sunfall on turn on turn six. The board into counter spell. They can't currently cast it because they have these plaza heroes, which is kind of cool. Attack for two. Not very fast. Not a very fast clock. No problem here. I will counter anything I can with this. Literally anything. Can't counter that one, unfortunately. Um, all right. A little rough. We could um, like go for the throat, let them scrawl it, and then the end the Denic to exile it. No, we can't. Never mind. Um, lying. So that's fine. All right. Now they have blue mana. Also. All right. Let's counter that. That's fine. Get that out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can also Odawar the Skrelv. Or even the Thalia, actually. We could actually Odawar a Thalia and then and Sunfall. It's kind of like a surprise Sunfall. It's kind of cool. They were to, like, tap out here thinking they can't get Sunfalled. Rafine. Okay. I'm feeling this uh, this Odawar here. Please target the... That's the other target the Danic, probably. Makes more sense, but... Alright, fire some Lutskis. Draw two. I think we're going to Odawar Sunfall here. Just go for the total blowout. They would need land counterspell. They can't even do it. Heh, they actually discarded land counterspell. It's pretty funny. Uh, just can't ca casting counters through Thalia is obviously very rough, so... Doesn't even work. Um, take a bunch... This thing cannot stop. Uh, yeah, she's a color, so they can't stop Odawara here. Odawara Thalia. Oh! 
slow me down there. Sorry. Oh, no! Takanuma mills over two wedding announcements. They return a Rona. Just obviously fine by me. They have Rona Thalia mystery card. Not exactly the most threatening of all time. We have this the end and this go for the throat. They Skrelv. Okay. We draw another go for the throat. All right. So, I think we just go for the throat, Rona, the end, the Skrelv. Like, not the best target for the end, but realistically, like, I mean, it's just going to be eating a rule spell. Anyway, yeah, whatever, sure. The end here. And uh, looks like they got two shield roots, uh, the full four announcements, Lord Skitter, two strokes, a make disappear, and a surge of salvation. Take a few notes there. Talking about it does not target, it just chooses a card, so then we'll kill us before they can loot. Whatever. Try to save one for Shieldred or some good quality creature, and then we're good to go. No loots. This blocks Thalia, and then we're just like in the late game. Super happy about it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in Deluge right now. We got a land here. We got a Sunfall. Yeah, land's good. So we got a land, Sunfall. Perfect. Play the land. So there you go. They, this forces them so they can't attack, and they probably play a creature, and they just Sunfall them again. There's nothing. Sure. Royal Lance, great too. Say go. Flashback Deluge. They do have like two. Ah, sure. They writing's on the wall. Very, very clear. This game's all locked up. So opponent just decides to just tap out and move on uh, with their life, which makes a lot of sense. So sports ball on the play. Hands great keep. Move to a new apartment. Moving sucks. New crib. When it's all done, it feels great, but the act of moving sucks. Restless Cottage. All right, buckle up. Got a nice long one here, probably. Mid-range versus control, the classic. They're going to Dread Whispers, not just cast the creature. And I get to negate this. Problem is that they have a Liliana. I can kill a Liliana. This is fine. I'm just going to negate this. Cleanly trading one for one with their... Uh, this thing is pretty good, so draw Farewell. Sure. So there you go. Have Insight up. Tap land, go. Oh my god, you love to see that. No pressure. So we have Dread Knight and Underdog. Uh, so Underdog dies, it goes to their graveyard. That's bad. If Dread Knight, when I adventure it, I get to keep it. But then when it dies, nothing will happen. So I can't cast it from their graveyard and they can't cast it either, so it's fine. Take Dread Knight. We draw Sunfall again. I want to make a land drop here, honestly. I'm just going to cast the... Uh, the whispers. Just cast the knight. Okay, never mind. Just play, 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 play tower so I go. Alright. Play tower so I go. Have a random 3-2 three, two, three, two if I want it. Got a bunch of wraths. Bunch of rule spells. Here's Shieldred. Um, they have two cottages. No void rend here. <laughs> sure. Just draw another one. It's fun. Uh... I think I just Sunfall here. It's like, we have nothing else to do with our mana at all. Actually, I, I could Void Rent and cast Moth the Dread Knight. But it's not, like, particularly exciting. They Cottage my Insight. It's kind of annoying, too. Don't really want to take a hit from the Shielder, though. So I take four and then two more. Let me just Sunfall. If they go land, Cottage, eat my Siphon Insight, it's still a pretty good turn for us, honestly. Like, no board development. We don't really have any card draw to punish them, but oh, they're going to do it. Wow, all right. Damn. Buckle up, folks. It's annoying. Makes me sad a little bit. It does play, well, play, it does play very well against my hand. Normally, we wouldn't mind because we have time to draw cards and stuff, but like we don't have any card draw in our hands, so it's kind of a kind of a stink. But Oh, I forgot. Right. Okay, never mind. My bad. I forgot that the Dread Knight itself no longer has the the rider tax that cast any color. So we actually can't cast it. It is our adventure, but we can't cast it. Okay. My bad. It's cool. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. Whoops. Whoopsie. Tortoise. Tortoise is good. The problem is these creature lands are very good against us. Void Rent can't kill lands, obviously. And Tortoise is pretty good, too. 
If they find no more creature lands, that's good at least. Gotta kill this. Yeah. Alright. This kinda sucks for sure. Can't let it ever attack get a trigger, so. Alright, untap. Draw land. Not a very uh exciting draw here, honestly. We really need to find this is why I, I liked Arnie Hushibet's list, which had four quick studies in it. You gotta find your card draw spells, you know. If you, don't, if you don't find that first deluge, things get a little rough. Here's a Misery's Shadow. That's it from them. Alright. Uh, I'm going to flip this. Probably just block this next turn. So. Oh, I wasn't playing 61 cards. That's true. Oh, I was in a queue for Worlds, so we were playing as us and testing them. We draw Wandering Emperor. That's a pretty good draw. It's a pretty appealing draw. That's a, answer, a clean answer to the cottages. It's actually a really good answer because exiles too, so. Pony in chat says, I've never been the kind of guy to proclaim a Magic, magic the Gathering card as their waifu, but I mean, Restless Cottage looks so alluring with those firm gingerbread foundations. Yeah. All right, Virtue on the token. Um... Kind of annoying, actually. That's fine, I guess. They never cast the Virtue, I just cast Farewells, so sure, it's fun. Play another Cottage? Man, what a sicko. Three Cottages in the first 20 cards. And there's just a go. Play our Wandering Emperor? Sure. Um, that's fine. Just draw a Deluge, please. Really, really, really gotta draw those card draw spells, you know? We did give them the, the Insight back, although... We might have just hit some random bad card in their deck, but... Crack the food, sure. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So if they cast the Virtue... Can't make disappear it. Alright. If they cast Virtue, I'll just cast Farewell, so whatever. It's kind of fun. Cast Virtue, sure. You can Void Ren too, but... I think Farewell... Yeah, Farewell's like... Passable here. Could just Void Rend it also. Right now they have Tortoise and not much else. Mr. Cottage on top of the Foundries. This is co very common. Oh, the, stock, the stock list for, for Green Black is four Cottages, two Foundries. Um... Cast Farewell. They have two cards left, but they have a bunch of, uh... We're at 13. You can activate... Uh, you can activate two Cottages. Could just Void it. Just keep playing. Yeah, just do that. It's fine. Yeah, I agree. I think Olgari is, like, just too, just too mid. It's just, like, 45 against everything. Not super great. There we go. All right, we're gonna main phase this. I think make a land drop, yeah. All right, now we're rolling. More cards, please. Finding your first deluge with this deck is really, really important. Like, you really gotta find that first deluge. Here's the foundry gonna get frisky. Just the Foundry. We have one go for the throat. I'm just gonna take two. Poet's playing well. They're doing a really good job of pacing out their, their threats. Their land. All right. Let's see you go. Doing a good job of trying to put me in the squeeze. This is how you, is how you beat a control deck. You put, you put them in the squeeze. There's a shieldred. Okay. I think I'm clear for a sunfall next turn. Yeah. I have sunfall, and then I've managed to still emperor. I like that. So we'll take two. Alright, so sunfall it is. Goodbye! Get off my plane. Let's see, go. Two, two can block the foundry. You can emperor one of these cottages. They have enough mana to cottage once. 
They can cottage twice. Right, lots of lands. Lots of lands. Cottage number one. Cottage number two. I'll do it for him. Exile some cards. Really good card. Very well designed creature land. Very, very good, but not like insanely good. Just like super, super fun, solid card. We're going to Emperor here. The Emperor will see you now. So, we end up going to seven here, which is a very service, very serviceable life total. My judgment is fun. Two cards in hand. Our hand's pretty juiced. Still looking for a uh, some more card draw, but the end. Maybe that creature plays walkers. <laughs> okay, so we could the end a cottage, take the one out of their deck. It's kind of cute. Um... I think we we flip this plus on it. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have seven mana left over, so I can go the end and void rend. Or yeah, let's do that. Flip this bad boy. Put a counter on it. The three three body is relevant against the, the founder, which is kind of nice. So keep the emperor around for now. Making a second two two not very exciting. Just say go here. Pack all the foods you want, my friend. But we need a few good taters. They're gonna virtue again. Ugh. So I can. I'm gonna make disappear here. I'm gonna just get a casualty of this, just a sack it, and just get them get them off this thing. It's a way of like kind of countering the virtue preemptively. Just gonna sack this. Two cards left. So we still have enough mana up for five mana up for removal spells. Um, they want to take a shot at, at the thingy. It's fine. I'll target this thing again. They will not get this virtue. <laughs> One way or another. Everybody in the pool. Here's a cottage. Can't cottage twice. They can foundry though. They can cottage twice. Okay. Now the question is: do They go for lethal or do they attack the emperor? Probably lethal, right? All right. So they attack with both. Um. I would say the end makes sense here. They play a tortoise or shield or it hitting the end on it is pretty cool. It's been very mana efficient though. Um it's so funny that Void was Voidbrand can't hit these. Right, I'll just do the end. Alright, hit the end. Would have been cheaper, I guess, if I uh taken the damage, but they have command, two shieldrids, two gixes, two Lilianas, two Grave Shots, two Skitters, two Glissas, two everything. Three edicts, two sorry, three go two edicts, two underdogs, Mosswoods, cut down. Alright, so not a lot of card advantage, really, honestly. I think I actually missed one. I didn't click it, I don't think. It's your average mono mono two of mid-range deck, just the usual stuff here. Make a two two, so you go. Let your do the I think I failed to exile the remaining one. And their, hand, and their hand's trespasser? Sure. That's pretty good, actually. That what requires an answer. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. Four over the throat? You gotta kill creatures, what do you mean? You want to be, want to be Esper? Want to be mono red, mono white, mid mirrors? Got to kill shieldreds. Got to kill even kill, even kill Draxes, You know, so they're gonna eat their own red knight. So they go to th two. A little precarious here. I'm not gonna lie. This does present a void branch target for sure. Could also farewell too, but they have. Okay. All right. Alright, well, now we're going to cast Farewell. Uh, if they plan on attacking with a creature land, it's a little odd they would do this at, uh, like this in this order, but sure. They're not going to attack the creature land, sure. Alright, so we're at one. We died of some stuff, uh, but we're in, like, decent-ish shape. Um, 
We really need to draw a freaking memory deluge. Uh, if I haven't made that entirely clear. We gotta exile everything. Because they, uh, they hit, hit the graveyard too. Our graveyard doesn't matter. Get a food or two on the way out. They have two things. I make a 2-2 two -two and I have Woodbrand and go for the throat. We, if we can find, as long as we can find a Deluge, we'll probably, we'll probably still win this game. But like we have a, we have a long way to go. Um, you know, we're halfway through our deck almost. Haven't found Deluge yet. Again, it's a big, big reason why I was a big fan of playing just playing four, 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 four copies of Quick Study. Let's go. We have blocker for the factory. Unfortunately, this makes their go for the throats live or their cut down or whatever, as far as killing us. But yeah, just please just draw a freaking Deluge. Like, come on, help me out here. All right, there's Cottage. All right. Going for it. Eat the farewell. Make the block. Go over the throat. So they're out. No more threats. They got nothing left. Thirty-six to one. Restless Forge is a pretty good draw. So there you go. We have to draw kill spell last turn. So Gix Yagmoth Praetor. Uh. Okay. I think we got a Void Rand here, so I want, I want to get this, get this, this, this Fortress in, too. Nah, I'm going to kill him. Uh, let's, 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 let's draw. Let's not doubt who we draw, actually. We draw a Dissipate. That's a good draw. Alright, that's a really good one. Fire up the Fortress. And let's get to work. Alright? This is the Control Player's Dream. 36 to 1. Let's get to work. It's turn 45. Let's start making moves. All right. So, gaining life is the important part. We don't just stone die to like a shoulder or something like that. So, one fortune. We're still like dying for a memory deluge. Like, you still haven't drawn one yet. And we draw one and we're going to lock this one up. But, cut down. Not quite. All right. They could have easily drawn go for throw, but still going to go for it. Oh, no! Alright, that's fine. Not gonna counter back, gonna counter the next threat, so that's fine. So there you go. Is Deluge an instant concede? It's close. She's draw a freaking Deluge. I don't understand. I don't understand! Come on! Lord Skitter? Ugh. This is a multi package threat. Yeah, I gotta kill on this. Counter this. Damn Lord Skitter. Okay, everybody tuck your pants into your socks. Draw Farewell. I just I just don't get it. Where are you? That's not great. Uh okay. And you think you can win. Don't overthink things. Somebody's playing a prank on me. We are now actually halfway to be done with that drawing deluge. Both of cast all of our void runs, right? We've cast uh, one, two. So we actually are very light on ways to kill Liliana. Um, we've already cast all of our void runs and our the end. Emperor would be good. Gix's command to return the Gix. Sure. Oh, we have Edicts, right. Edicts so good, yeah. Edicts the best plans of all spot ever printed. Alright, cool. Alright, well, I guess we're actually going to do this. We're dead, so. Um, yeah, just one Deluge, please. Got a thousand mana in play. Mistress Foundry. Pretty threatening. You won't be outsmarting me. Waka waka! Yeah, we gotta play four, play, play four copies quick study, you know. All right. We all have things we'd rather forget. 
Liliana ult is even that bad. Like, I beat Reed in testing through a Liliana ult. Like, it's like, whatever. I'm gonna have a bunch of lands to play, who cares? And a Mirix? Mirix is pretty good, actually. Alright, uh, so you go. Oh, we're dead, actually, never mind. <laughs> Alright, sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty stupid game. I feel like we were heavily favored that game, despite being, you know, 36 to 1. If we could just, uh. Oh, I could have cast the Knight! They, 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 they just eat it and kill me. It's fine. But you're right. You're right. Night off Mirix. I missed it. I missed it. Totally right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still, we still die. They still eat it, eat it and kill us. But all right. So um, now they're going to have a nice little complement of duresses and stuff too. We're going to want to have Anoint with Affliction. A second copy of The End for sure. Kind of like Siphon Inside actually. Keeps to go longer. There are four Deluge. Uh, there are four Deluge still in the deck. Um, Edict Insight. These Negates are like... Cutdown's not great. Can I get the, like, cut the, if you feel the cut down? I'm going to leave one cut down. Um, don't think I want the Sharks. Hey, Boliana. Sideboard, the Deluge is back in, yeah. Farewell's pretty good, actually. Um, being able to exile their lands from the graveyard's pretty important. Edict, go for the throat. It cut down, just kind of like, eh. Let shave, like... I'm going to shave a meat. I'm going to play, never mind. I'm going to shave something. Let me add here. Should I shave, shave a card by 60, you know? Um, that's why you play 60 cards, folks. You play 61, you don't draw the cards you want to draw often enough, you know? Um... I'll just do one siphon inside, I guess. Oh, never mind. I forgot we're playing. Forgot we're playing 61. My bad. We're good. I had it all lined up perfectly, so. Alright. Let's try it again. Found a deluge. Keep. Got the old anoint with affliction for the turn to graveyard creature. Love it. Let's actually put the beach. A double blue on turn three if necessary. Cottage. That's really annoying. Draw void rend. Oh shit, that means I can't get. Can't, can't, I was actually pretty bad. Whatever. I screwed up. Should put the black lands so I can have Onoit up on their turn. It's fine. Yeah, well, they're never, never punished, so. Play a land. Uh, got a siphon inside, inside them for a land at this point, so. Why 61? I could not tell you. Three cottages. Damn. That was a lot of cottage action. All right. Forest or Phyrexian Arena? Oh my god, I can't even cast the arena, but it seems so good. I really want this Phyrexian Arena. Forest is like barely even a land. I can't help myself. All right, we're going to insight again. Try to find a land this time. Like a swamp, perfect. All right, play swamp. So you go. Obviously, they did nothing so far, so we feel pretty happy about uh, our current scenario. They played duress. Yeah, whatever. Go nuts. No, the board guard is right here. I know who I am. I'm a man who loves Frexian Arena. Take the Deluge. Do they have a way to exile it too? They have Lord Skitter and the Trespasser, so both pretty good here. Glissa Sunslayer. They know my hand too. Didn't draw land again. Ugh. Uh, Alright, we might be in a spot where we need to just cast Quick Study and try and draw land. Because we can't afford to miss land drops, really. Playing the arena, obviously, in the Glissa doesn't really work, so let's do this. Let's draw a land, please. Alright, thank you. Play this. We'll say go with the anoint up. No blue up, but... I also want to anoint a creature of it as a, as a graveyard benefit, but whatever. This is kind of needs to die, so... Totally fine. Goodbye. Get off my plane. Royal Wall. Eh. Right, that's gone. And now we're looking pretty good, right? Land go. We have ne arena and negate. Sure. 
I'm in. So you go. What do you got? Just stone nothing on turn five. Want to eat my deluge? That's fine. I have now that I have arena, we're gonna draw cards, so we're fine. So I don't mind this at all. Sixteen. Fifteen. Drew land. Say go. Grab a Snickers, folks. Bad arena art. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a bummer, but. They know these cards. They don't know these cards. Here comes the cottage. Pretty easy emperor here, I think. I'm also a huge Phyrexian Arena fan. Pretty good emperor. Got a lot of Mirrors in this deck, too. Just like super low win condition deck. Just put the Mirrors in there. You're just like, alright, cool. Eating me, great. Take a two for one. Two for ones all day. We draw land. Edict. Just there you go. Void Rins, Counter Spells, Farewell. We are now firmly in the driver's seat. Start pumping out our little Might Buddies. This card's like secretly one of the, one of the best cards in Standard. Just an excellent, excellent card. Love it. Graveyard Trespasser, sure. Plenty of clean, clean answers for that one. Um, want to make a Mite, but then I can't. I, can, I have to Edict to this to kill it. I can't uh, Void Rend. That's fine. All right, sure. That's gone. And get the might train rolling. Alright. Emperor. Draw land. Didn't draw a land, unfortunately. Um it's kind of a tilt, actually, but sure. Let's attack. Just gonna discard farewell. Might as well. A little stinky, but... End step Emperor. Might or Emperor? Hey, just... Emperor is a good answer to the creature lands, which we, which we currently lack. Um, but making the Might doesn't cost the card. But if I don't draw a land, it's really rough, so I can't much cast stuff. Uh, this, works, this works out well, so this is fine. Here's Shieldred. Easy Void Ren Might. Yeah, this game is comically over. We're playing in a paper tournament. This would be a time where the person should concede to save clock time. Beating them with their own for Arena is pretty gas. More, no more lands? Come on. And more, more, more lack of land draws. Should have Dalish main phase for a land. Hillish for land, still have blue, blue. We still have blue up. Alright, uh, white. And tower. So this leaves Emperor up. Discard the hand size again, but whatever, I guess. Just discard the freaking, like. Let's just one of these, whatever. Pretty locked up here, so. Got the dealers in the bin. Just got everything. Sure. Tap that a blue blue. It's just is what it is. We just didn't have enough blue. Exile the deluge. Whatever. Don't really need it anymore. You know, like we chipped a bajillion cards in our hand and the arena. So play the emperor. Exile the land. Pump up the cottages. Pump up the piece of the mites up. Yeah, just super easy. Two more draws off Arena. 
That's cold blooded. All right. They gave us the shitty art arena and they kept the nice art arena for themselves. Cold blooded. Alright, attack. Um the definition of being styled on. We're gonna wanna play this fortress. Just say go. Playing two different arts, yep. Which actually is like it's not impossible, but this was the part of the anthology. You're guaranteed to get four. Unless they crafted it, I guess. Maybe they open one and then crafty one. That's fair. Negate this. Just end step, void rend, and siphon inside probably. I don't know, we'll see what we draw. I should make it might too. It doesn't matter what we do, honestly. <laughs> Just can't lose, so. Make it might. Siphon inside you. Yeah, I'm sure, whatever. Any day now, French. There's a Gix. It's kind of gas. I'm never done for good. Take my Emperors. Just win the game with my Mites. It's not a big deal. Now, there's each individual cards for these. Uh, in theory, the you can own eight Frexian Arenas, basically. You can own two and two or whatever. In theory, it should be like, you know, you once you have four of a card, if you open a new version, it just adds a card style, and you never open anymore. So... All right, so we draw, open, we draw second Mirix, I guess. All right, so I'm just gonna attack. We're not, we're not gonna get because we have a thousand cards, so. Um, just gonna play Mirix, let's say go. I don't even care about the arena, honestly. Just whatever, let them let them have their thing. If I avoid run this, so I want a Mirix twice, too. Yeah, whatever, just say go. Just counter Mirix twice. Gix, discard our hand, take their whole deck. That is pretty exciting. Um. Discard, discard X cards, exile top X cards from opponent's library. That is pretty cool, but a little risk of ruin there, you know, as far as uh, that's not working, but all right, go to game three here. And... Uh, I don't think anything changes here, right? Like, maybe you want to cut down on a draw. They've been playing pretty conservatively, though. I do think they made Spear gets a lot worse on the draw, so wouldn't mind shaving one of those. Um, I'm gonna cut down. I think it's fun. Fraxian Arena was gas, right? Yeah, it made up for the the lack of a uh, the lack of uh, of our drawing deluges and stuff. Oh man, it's a bad end. Been a great match so far too. I'd like to see it uh, continue. You know. All right. Um. Can't even cast the Emperor yet. We're on the draw. Need to draw land. I kind of bought him Daylos here. Um, I don't know. This is tough. It's the Emperor. Let me get rid of the Emperor. Varm, first time chatters. Just finished second yesterday at the RCQ. Got the invite to Denver in February. Awesome, my friend. Congrats. I don't know if I'll be there or not. I'm, go I'm going to Atlanta in December. Uh, the Denver RC is like before the PT, though. So, like, I don't know. Our testing schedule is going to work out and stuff like that, too. But, all right. So, draw another land. Now we should buy the land, obviously. But, whatever. Is what it is. got to play Whispers. I don't like that play at all. I think you just cast a damn creature and try and kill me, right? Like, you're the beatdown deck. I'm the control deck. There's a Glissa. Unfortunately, we've drawn just a bunch of lands and have not drawn a single spell yet. So I can't stop Glissa yet. They're going to get that first shot in, which sucks. But whatever, I guess. Hot Sizzle! Resub, thanks so much. If I the end the creature land, then yes, I will get all of them. All right, so they get a hit with so now they're up like three cards on me because I mulliganed, and they uh, drew a card off this thing too. So we're in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not gonna lie. We draw only lands. All right. 
Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, and it sucks to see a really cool match go like this, you know? We have two Sunfalls. Hmm. It's awkward because, like, the end is better on the Dread Knight, but I gotta kill this Glissa. I could just cast the Deluge and try and spike a Wrath. Let's see, go. Not even bluffing Emperor here either. It sucks. Really, really bad draw, unfortunately. And drew really, really poorly out of it. No creature lands, thankfully. It's the one, the one saving grace here. Like, if we had double white, they might think about Emperor, like, not attack with something or whatever, which would be a lot better for us, but... We only have two Sunfalls, so it's not like it's likely to hit one off this Deluge. This is a really tough call. It also comes down to, like, do I need to hit Sunfall to win this game at this point? You know, like, are we, are we that far behind? We should try, try and get lucky and hit Sunfall. You know, it's... Uh, 4% on each card we see, so we would see 5 cards, so like, you know, it's a decent chance we can draw it. They're going to draw multiple cards off this too. Damn. This is a really tough call. I'm going to cast this. Kind of hate it, but... Exile that. See their hand. Their hand is, oh my god, shoulder, turtle, turtle, turtle. Uh, their hand's juiced. Arena, everything. We have a white source right here. We're in trouble, honestly. Uh, Mulligan, really bad draw. Kind of a tough match, honestly. Like, that game, all we just like, never had a deluge either. Probably would have won that game, too. Like, it's definitely some rough draws, but, you know, is what it is, I guess. Is pretty good here. We draw Anoint with Affliction, which is kind of awkward actually, but fine, I suppose. We can Anoint the Glissa and then make disappear of the next spell they cast, but now they have an active arena too. I mean, now we're looking for Farewell too, I guess. They are really juiced up on cards. All right. Blastoise here. Countering actual anything. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's like, like, like the best one, too, so. Get out of here. Get off my plane. Draw negate. Alright. I keep my double white active. Let's say go. Still no white to threaten Emperor, which kind of sucks also, but... Looking for a farewell, people. Chip in a chair. What do we have? Four go for the throats? Two. Eight edicts, two. Okay. Take three. Sure. Land shoulder, probably. Alright, they're going for it. Here's a Deluge. We see total brick. That's terrible. All right. Uh, yeah, we're in some pretty big trouble now. Not even like a, a, a make a spear. I can counter this. Edict. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, pretty bad draws, unfortunately. Um, Mulligan did us no favors. And we've drawn really, really badly this game. That sucks. If I Deluge, I don't have any outs to Deluge. I need to kill both of these creatures. If I drew, like, Cut Down and a uh, Rule Spell, I guess it's a chance, right? Sure, whatever. Oh! Oh, it's Lightning Healing! 
Okay. Oh Alright, so you're telling me there's a chance, I guess. They still have freaking double trespasser and all this gas in their hand, but I suppose. We also wasted our white here too. We have we've terrible counter spells in our hand, but Alright, sure. I'll I'll try. I'll keep playing, I guess. We gotta be like, you know, a ninety-five to five dog here, but so I can't I can't draw farewell, because I, I can't I don't have a second white. Yeah, like no second white in this game. Just a really, really bad draw. Double trespass is pretty good here. I was actually gonna go for the deluge, this is not my uh not my land, so I mean, not my life total. Still pretty dead though. Like I don't even know if we can draw here. Like this, this drawing dissipate was like one of the worst possible draws. Now I draw double white. Awesome. Alright. Yeah, you got us. Alright. Tough game. Both games we lost felt pretty bad. Like game on we just like draw dailies, win the game easily. This game we just need to have a functional hand, you know, but is isn't it is. What are you gonna do? Long games though, long games. So let's hop on over to untapped IG, check out our stats. Do you love playing a control deck? I don't love this list, honestly. I think Arnie's list was a lot better. Um, I don't think I would play less than four copies of Quick Study. Like, I know it doesn't look like a very exciting card, but your control deck just need to draw cards. You know, stop on over to Untapped. And, uh, you know, we went one-on-one. On one. Um, again, that's like, that match was a, that was a tough one. You know, I think we, I think that, like, most of the time, you know, in those games, like, that first game especially, like, we just draw a single deal, which we would win the game, like, pretty easily. So, kind of a tough one. But, yeah, I think five, having the studies to find the deluge is very, very important. I usually draw cards. You usually to keep that flow and the velocity of cards going as the game goes on over and over and over again. I also play 60 on 61. Uh, but, yeah, still, I think this deck's pretty good right now. And uh, if you're a control player, if you're, like, any kind of player right now in standard, there's, there's a deck for you. Aggro decks, control decks, mid-range decks, combo decks. So, pretty sweet. So, deck's cool. And uh, that's it. So, see you folks. Gonna keep going. You folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. And peace.